Barisa and Melissa and Kyle and Kathy, just the housewives. And she also did a video that said, um, there's an icon. And then it panned over to Miss Teresa Giudice. She's like, there's an icon. And Teresa's like, oh, hi. Like, so I'm just, listen, for someone who protests too much, I also have a big producer in the industry who said to me, you know, Bethany making a statement that she'll only do the OG show if all the OGs are back. Like Jill, blah, blah, and Alex McCord. They're like, don't kid yourself. That's Bethany basically saying like, I'm putting it out there. I want to see how it trends. I want to see how many likes it gets. I want to create the buzz so that when they want the OGs back, granted, Alex McCord ain't doing it. But, you know, so when they want the OGs back that I can justify my price. I don't think Bethany's coming back for the OG show, but stranger things have happened. But I do think there's this weird thing that she still wants to dip in and out. Like if you really were done with it, you don't do it. Do you know what I mean? Look, I think that's a great assessment. I really do. I really do. I think I couldn't have summed it up better. And I think you're completely correct. I think you're completely correct. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it. I mean, you know, Erica Jane was there at the awards. You know, she did a TikTok um, of her makeup. She got destroyed on TikTok. People were like, yeah. oh my God, no, you know, hire somebody to do your edits. Like the edit was very slow. You know how on TikTok they do these, like, I don't know, you like do a motion or whatever. And it's like your before and after. It's like your before, no makeup. And then your after. Anyway, the, she did the thing and the edit was kind of a little slow. And people were like crucifying her on TikTok. I should find it. Um, oh my God. Just like, oh my God, find somebody to do your TikTok. I wish that someone could transform your personality. I mean, it was like- Yeah, I mean, a lot of people still dislike Miss Jane. They do. Oh my God, yeah. People on TikTok hate Erica. It was it was rough. People are mean, not over it. Now, do you know, while you look for that, can I just tell you, because we've had some other, we speak of these Bethany's and these big housewives. We have some other things going on in the world. We have another very big housewife. Her name is Luann de Lesseps, my neighbor. Mm -hmm. I heard from Luann this week, by the way, she called. She's in, she was in Toronto. So everyone shout out to Luann shows in Toronto. And Luann is going, she's coming to SAG. So we're going to get together us girls, but she's going to be in San Francisco next. I believe this, well, I believe last week by the time you hear this. So hopefully everyone checked out Luann in San Francisco. Now, I didn't ask her about this on the phone because we were on the phone for about four minutes and it was okay. no offense. It was about Luann mostly, which is okay. That's, that's how it works, guys. I don't care. Luann was at a rehab opening in where was it north carolina north carolina it's down in north carolina i was like i was like oh my god luann cannot escape these headlines this is bananas um but she was down in north carolina it was a dear friend of hers now it's kind of this you know controversial yet i guess gaining popularity um method of treating alcoholics it's at a rehab center where they take a medication that gets rid of the alcohol buzz you know obviously you drink alcohol you feel buzz then you're drunk so this uh -huh. medication they prescribe gets rid of all of that. And then alcoholics can drink. And the idea is if you never feel that sensation that you probably, it would be like drinking cranberry juice, you know, you, you drink it, but there's nothing aside from the taste. There's really no effect. Right. So this rehab center had a full bar and Luann was there. <laughs> and I, now, now, her publicist in the New York Post story at the end says that Luann has, again, been two months sober, is not drinking, and was not spotted drinking at this rehab center that had an open bar, which seems crazy, but obviously their whole thing is, um, you know, it, it's called the Sinclair method, which allows alcoholics to drink after they take medication that takes away the booze high. So naturally, there was a champagne bar as well as a mocktail bar in a separate area. Luann, uh, who struggles with alcohol, uh, have which has been well-documented on the Real Housewives of New York, has recently launched her own booze-free, typically Fosé Rosé, which is being which was being poured at the bash. So there you go. I, if people were just watching my face, if you're on YouTube watching our clips, um, and all of our clips are available on YouTube, by the way, not the whole show, so still listen here where you're listening, but this is possibly one of the, I have, this is like a 17 hour breakdown now. Now I'm going to speed it up for everyone listening. I am so confused by so many things that you have just said. 
Really? Yeah. Okay, oh. I have a, no, I mean, I have not, a- not, not confused, but just, uh, okay. Okay. Let's take housewives out of this. Okay. Let's just put my good friend who called me this week and we chatted Miss Dillis Epps aside for just a second. There is now a rehab facility, as you say, the Sinclair Method, where you go to get treatment for being an alcoholic. Now, I am not an alcoholic. I'm not. I, I, I drink like a fish. And then I wake up the next morning. Doesn't mean that that's, that's not really the definition. But Bronwyn was just on my show and she said I wasn't an alcoholic. So she would know because she's been through the program. Now, I don't understand. I mean, I drink to forget life. I drink to let it all (laughs) loose. So now we're saying you can still drink, but so before we even get into this, but you can drink now, but it has no effect. So when you drink the vodka, it's like drinking the cranberry juice. Why not just drink fucking sparkling water with zero calories and not go, let's just start with that. Well, isn't that the hope? That's probably what the hope of Sinclair Method is, right? If, you, if you're drinking your martinis every night, but they're not having an effect and you're not forgetting the world, at some point, maybe you decide, you know okay. what, water is the better route, right? But I mean, I'm with you. I'm an old school aa I mean, I'm not in the program, but I know a lot of people that are. They'll tell you. I mean, it's like Elton John on Demi Lovato's documentary. You know, if you're California sober, you're not sober. You know, I mean- I'm kind of an old school AA believer, you know, you're either sober and you're working on your emotional issues or you're not. So, but what do I know? I'm not in the world. So maybe the Sinclair method is revolutionary. And there's a lot of people that that cannot make AA work. They just can't, you know, they're so, they have that allergy to alcohol. They are so addicted. So. Right. And, And I'm not judging either. It's just then. So it's like that, the whole thing is strange that like, okay, you now are going to drink 17 drinks and it's going to be like water. I don't show me the pill for that. Cause I'm not so sure about that. Cause then I think, cause then I think you'd be like a billionaire because why wouldn't you then have the two martinis or three and then take it. And then the rest of them, I mean, then you get hung over. I have so many questions, but regardless of that, I mean, we're now going to rehab And we're serving champagne. I mean, I don't know about this. No judgments, no judgments. And I'm not saying it's easy. Oh, I'm an alcoholic. I'm going to go to AA and life is good. No, 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 no. I'm not belittling this, but I just, I don't get it. Like just, I I mean, an open bar at a re, this is the crazy now. And then the third thing is because let's bring in, this is housewives guys. Let's bring in Queen De La Seps. Of course, they're serving her rosé. Bravo, Luann, because like, I already have a thing where it's like, when I go to her house, we're going to have rosé and it's going to be able to share with her. I think her rosé, I can't wait to try her rosé. But of course, they're serving Luann's rosé. But other than that, how the hell did Luann get involved in this? I'm assuming, and this is no shade, I'm assuming it's like, okay, we're going to promote your rosé and where do we deposit the five grand? into your completely she, I mean I don't think Luann just said I'm gonna skip the weekend in Sag Harbor with David and just go to this facility and le- 